I didn't really know much about Tourette syndrome before I got into to this. All I knew was that these patients were supposed to swear a lot, but I found out that wasn't true. They, only 10% of them have the coprolalia or the swearing. Most of them have modal, motor and vocal tics, um, and they have a lot of other comorbidity, attention deficit problems. These patients are often labelled as just... Um, just brattish children, as unruly kids, they, 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 they really uh, are often misdiagnosed and I think we're seeing better diagnosis of Tourette syndrome now than we were 15 years ago. Typically the onset comes on during childhood. Uh, males are much more frequently affected than females and it usually gets worse for a period of 10 or 15 years before it starts to get better and these patients usually get better in their 20s and, and if not in their 30s. The problem is they've often been affected by this disastrous neurological condition during their formative years, during the years where they're learning how to socialise, where they're trying to get an education, and they're often robbed of a lot of opportunities to develop. So you often get, we often get patients that come in to see us in their late teens or in their 20s, 30s, and I've even had a patient in his 60s come in with Tourette's syndrome who have tried all of the other usual options and who are now looking at uh, the option of deep brain stimulation. Like with the other psychosurgery uh, applications, Tourette's syndrome uh, does have a number of targets that can and um, are utilised around the world, and we don't really know which is the best target. And so we went through the literature when we were looking at doing our patients, and uh, on the basis of fairly soft science, I guess, because there wasn't class one uh, data, we decided to go for the anteromedial globus pallidus internus, uh, also on the basis that we stimulate the GPI a lot for dystonia and Parkinson's disease and other movement disorders. So that was a target that we were much more comfortable with. So we've now done, uh, if you take the uh, patient uh, that I just discussed who had the four electrodes implanted, if you take her out of the equation, we've done uh, seven patients and we have outcome data on six. One of the patients developed a terminal uh, illness uh, unrelated was cancer that was diagnosed after the surgery and, and passed away um, six months later. So we have outcome data on, on six patients. Uh, their mean age is 37 and a half years, but if you look at the age range, as I mentioned before, the eldest is uh, 65, the youngest is 21. We have mean follow-up of 15 months now. And if you look at their mean improvement in their vocal and their motor tics, it's sitting at about 70%. And if you look at their impairment rating scale, they've got a mean improvement of around 80%. So this is very encouraging. And all of those patients obtained a, a benefit. And when you go back and ask them, um, uh, would they have the procedure again? They all say, uh, yes, they would. So we've got, uh, this is an example of, of how bad Tourette's can be. This, this guy grew up in a country town and you can imagine how debilitating this condition would be for someone growing up in that kind of uh, environment. So. He wasn't getting better like the textbooks and the articles said he should and he decided to have surgery and I think he was 21 at the age of his operation and this was after we'd put the um, battery in and just before we turned it on. So we're about to turn it on here and you can see the, the ticks, he's got these continuous uh, ticks and you can see how they just stop uh, very, very quickly like that and that, that is a little bit unusual uh, with Tourette's. What we've found is that there's often a lag and there's often a lag of uh, several uh, minutes bef uh, between when you turn it on and when they start to get a benefit uh, and we, we think that the, the circuitry works a bit differently in Tourette's and, and also there's probably an element of plasticity there as well. Mm -hmm.